Hey, a party people! Today we're getting organized. This video is a part of a series where I go over a basic introduction to perler beads and fuse beads in general. If you haven't watched it already, consider checking out the How to Get Started with Perler Bead video. Today, we'll be looking at storage options, how to set up to sort, hand sorting, the straw and tape method to sort, the paperclip method to sort, and some other tips on sorting and organizing. So, you have thousands of perler beads in a giant bucket. Maybe you got it as a gift, or maybe you just really enjoy sorting. Either way, I highly recommend you sort them so that it'll be a much smoother and faster process when you start making your perler bead creations. But how do we even start? These buckets have thousands of beads! Don't sweat it though, we don't need to sort all of them before we start creating. Before we start to sort the beads, we need to figure out exactly how we're going to organize them and how we're going to store them. One storage option is grabbing plastic craft containers from a big box craft store. This is the one I've used for years, but I wanted to experiment with a bigger kind and see if this is better for me. That's the thing though, there is no one perfect way to store your beads. It's up to you to find out what you prefer. Some people use jars. Some people use drawers. Some people use Ziploc bags. Some people use Tupperware. If you have pets or young humans in your household, some ways might seem more attractive than others. With this new bin, one thing I noticed right from the start is that the walls are removable, which has its pros and cons, but for perler beads, it can be very finicky because if a wall moves even just a little bit, the beads from one section can spill into the beads of the next section. You're going to have to be pretty mindful whether you're trying to sort or use the beads for your projects with something like this. I got it originally because the spaces were deeper than my other storage case. If you work with something like this, make sure to work with it on a flat surface. Don't try organizing as it's sitting in your lap. Definitely saying this from personal experience! If you have the space, drawers might be the easiest way to store and access your beads, especially if you're sorting thousands of beads or have bought the individual packets. No matter where you go, don't forget your coupons to save some extra cash. Oh, and one more thing to note, some of these assorted buckets, if not all of them, have two different types of white beads. One is slightly brighter than the other, so keep that in mind when you sort those. Maybe it's the toasted marshmallow color? I'm not exactly sure. I do know on the Amazon site there is a white and a version 2020 white, so there's that. So we have decided exactly how we're going to store and organize our beads. Now we have to do the actual sorting. Get a container that has walls so that beads don't go flying all over the place. What I use is the top of a board game box. This board game is called Everdell and it's super cute and super wholesome, I highly recommend it. If you find that the box is too flat and a lot of beads are standing up, which are harder to collect, try a large bowl. In a pinch, you could always use the top of the bucket itself. You're going to pour in your beads and enjoy that nice pitter patter sound. Go ahead and smooth it out so that the beads are not on top of one another. Alright, now we're set up to sort. So, what are our options? First is the classic method, using your digits. I recommend picking one color at a time and going to town. If you do this for too long, you might get some finger and hand cramps. Also, if you have meaty sausage fingers like myself, this might be a little more difficult. If possible, I recommend you to get as many hands in there to speed things up. Grab your friends or family members to help you out. Next, let's say you don't want to use your hands since you want to save time and some hand cramps. You can use a straw to help you pick up beads quickly. There is a little bit of setup though. You need a straw that can fit sideways beads through it. If you're having trouble with beads going up before you assemble it with tape, it is most likely too small. I found that a McDonald's straw works best, but experiment with straws to see what works best for you. There are a few ways to do this. One way is to simply slap on two pieces of tape on your straw. Add a third piece to secure the first two. Then you can use a small knife to make an X-shaped cut. Afterwards, you can use a thin object like a pencil to push the tape in. The other option is to pre-cut your pieces of tape so you have less overlap. With your taped up straw, you can start going to town again. The sideways beads should almost always go up the straw. If you're having issues, you might need to redo the tape. Sometimes you might have trouble picking up the pieces that are standing straight up, even with the tape. If that's the case, you can do a few things. You can knock it on its side and pick it up that way. 
you can alternate picking up a horizontal bead and then trying a vertical bead. You can use a second, smaller straw to pick them up. I made this one from a subway straw. There are a few variations with the setup here. Some folks use washi tape, some folks use scotch tape. Some folks tape the pieces of tape to themselves and then attach it that way. Some folks don't use an X-shaped cut, but just cut one slit. Try them all out and see whatever works best for you. Another way you can sort your beads is by using a paper clip. When I do this, I prefer a paper clip over a needle since you can bend it to whatever length works best for you. I'm not very dexterous, so it's hard for me personally to do this from the box. Instead, I can scoop up beads in my hand and try to thread them there. But even then I have some troubles. So, those are the ways you can sort your pearly beads. I just wanted to leave a few tips for you. If you have a project in mind, just aim for those colors. You don't need to sort all of them in one go if you aren't using them anytime soon. For example, I almost never use a translucent bead, so I end up skipping those a lot. Take breaks! There's no need to go through thousands of beads in one five-hour sitting. Listen to music, or put a show or a movie on in the background. If you find it easier, do two stages of sorting. Sort by color group first, and then by individual colors. If you're not interested in sorting through all the colors of a bucket, and you can afford it, buy the individual bags and store those instead. I highly recommend investing in at least a separate bag for black. You use them all the time, especially for outlining. If you get frustrated, take a break and come back to it once you're ready. Ultimately, there's no right or wrong way to tackle this. Hopefully, this can be a relaxing part of dealing with pearly beads. If it isn't relaxing or therapeutic, at least you can do it a little more efficiently now. If you learned something new or just enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a comment and a like and subscribe to find out when I drop new videos. It's free for you, but it goes a long way for me. Thanks for your time and consideration. So there you have it. Now you should know how to sort and organize your pearly beads. What methods have you used and which ones are your favorite? Leave a comment down below. I'd love to see what other folks have in mind. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out.